It was a historic day for Mayo Clinic Florida. It's the first class of medical students graduated from the program today during a ceremony on the campus. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar was there and explains why the students are considered pioneers. These 11 medical students are making history. They are part of the first graduating class from the Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine. Jordan Dutcher is one of the graduates, now on her way to becoming an anesthesiologist. Dutcher co-created a curriculum to treat victims of sex trafficking during her time here. She'll be staying at Mayo Clinic Florida for residency. This is um, a lot of long hours, a lot of, a lot of tears, <laughs> a lot of um, prayers and support from family and loved ones um, going into this moment. This moment is a big deal for Jahani Lopez Dominguez. She plans to become a dermatologist. Dominguez learned to speak English at 11 years old and worked hard to get to this point. Um, so when I started college, I, you know, gave up in one moment because I didn't think that I had, you know, enough money to, uh, to go through medical school. I didn't think that I could do it, um, but I came back and I persisted. A moment to celebrate this achievement with Mayo Clinic Florida CEO Dr. Kent Thielen watching with pride. Dr. Alfredo Quiones delivered a keynote address. The neurosurgeon calls these 11 graduates trailblazers. And to have a group of students, medical students, who are the pioneers graduating in the middle of this pandemic, in the middle of this world-changing events, is really, really something that allows us and gives us hope that anybody can be a pioneer, that anybody can change the world. This has been part of our vision for the future for decades, and so now we're realizing that. Those med students had to do their first two years of studies at Mayo Clinics in either Arizona or Minnesota before wrapping up their clinical studies here in Jacksonville for the last two years. This monumental moment for these students, they say, is the culmination of sacrifices, mentorship, and perseverance, and hope to pay it forward. I, feel I want to be there for patients. I want to be a healer and alleviate suffering. And it took a lot, but I was persistent and, you know, was able to reach this moment. I want to continue my practice as a physician someday where my patients feel like um, they are not a burden, it is not taking up my time, but getting to know them and learn about their lives and care about them is, is why I wake up every morning. To be the next generation of physicians in this community and beyond. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.